Just those bikes to the and have us die. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Sounds like half an answer to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. You trying to sit me down? You hate McCaffrey. You're trying to frame him for this. You've got the wrong guy. And how can you prove that? I'm telling you, McCaffrey did this. Do something about it and leave me alone. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. If you don't give me some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan, I'm going to have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them. To clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. Can you bring me the files? I didn't do that. And there's no way you can prove any different. Sorry. My mistake. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. You have to do better than that, Grosvenor. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me.
Seems there's a serious gulf between what you think you know and what you actually do, detective. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. And you have someone who can corroborate your story? Unfortunately, no. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? So you're telling me you were set up? That's my conclusion. It's either going to be you or Tiernan. Grovener. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. <laughs> they weren't even his prints, and he still confessed. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Conviction for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks for your help. I know who it is. I'm a king. You know what's wrong? Poor little Swift. She was 13 and she was a day. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? So that's the extent of your criminal record? That's right. I'm fighting for social change. I'm no criminal. I don't want no part of it. Captain finds out, we're dead. That bum took a swipe at me. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. It doesn't look good, girl. It's either you or Tiernan from where we're sitting. Personally, I think Evelyn is better off. But I had nothing to do with it. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. I won't give up names of party members. Good. Your funeral. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Every bird gets the worm. The second mouse gets the seed. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. 
Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Sounds like half an answer to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out with some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Come on, Tiernan. Either you killed her or she left the hotel. Why did she leave? Look... I may have yelled at her. I was very drunk. It's hard to remember. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. <coughs> an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Guy gave his wife a tap. They all stay in love and war. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? If it was planted there, then some evil mastermind must be at work here. You got a name, McCaffrey? Tiernan. Who else? I was under the impression you thought Tiernan incapable of tying his own shoelaces. Skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. I don't want no part of it. Captain finds out we're dead. I'm right here. I'm a king. Operator, give me R and I. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Conviction for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thank you. Say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. 
How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? No man should be without history, detective. Mine is colorful, but nothing more. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? How come this is so hard to believe? A man and a woman getting along, liking each other, just as friends. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. You can't expect me to turn a blind eye, can you? Hey, do you think I'm going to stick around much longer? You want to call me or something? I cannot go back to sleep. You were smoking a cigarette on the other way. You don't like McCaffrey, do you, Tiernan? Yeah, he's full of the common man routine, but he props up a bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. And he had nothing but vitriol for her. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Come on, Tiernan. Either you killed her or she left the hotel. Why did she leave? Look, I may have yelled at her. I was very drunk. It's hard to remember. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. You didn't know about the insurance money, I take it. You need me to sign some papers or something?
As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was, it was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Where the hell? Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. You have to do better than that, Grosvenor. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. We know that you thought enough of her to loan out your copy of the Metaphysics. I what? I did no such thing. That bitch stole that book from my apartment, the impudent fucking moron. And that made you angry? Angry? I was livid, looking up at me with that stupid face of hers, begging me to forgive her. Ah, very good. That's one to you, detective. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? You're going to have to do better than that, detective. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Hey, fuck you, asshole! Operator, give me dispatch. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge?
We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Grovener McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Most of Shaman's seen in Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. That we rally with the first, they're trying for the Naboo. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboo's and infillate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. Sent the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. I'm praying that those prints come through so I can nail that son of a bitch. No one else but the killer knew about this message. Suffer woes, which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. This guy was willing to rat his own mother after I sweated him. Another snippet from a Shelley poem. If the 
note is from the Dahlia maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree, but where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarleton murder, not to mention the Molotovs. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be long. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on. We have a clue. Captain? Thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Goddamn captain's making you submit the paperwork. I pray that those prints come through so I can nail that son of a bitch. Wow, that looks like a beauty. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Police officer, I need your car. You're behind the wheel. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? You gotta get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line, too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. 